Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Outlook 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to schedule appointments and events. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is schedule an appointment. So to schedule an appointment, you need to go to the Home tab, the New group, and you need to click on this button right here, New Items. When you click this, you have the option of sending an email like normal, and then you also see Appointment and Meeting. It's important to note that an appointment has a calendar icon, and Meeting has a calendar plus the people icon. The difference between a meeting and, a, and an appointment is basically an appointment is by yourself, so this is something that will be added to your calendar that you can refer to later and be reminded of, and a meeting is something that you're going to invite someone else to and meet with them at that time, but it will also be added to your calendar. So if it's by yourself, which is what we're going to cover in this tutorial, it's going to be an appointment. I'll click on appointment and an appointment window will pop up, and this is where I can add a subject. The subject for this one will be SBS study session. Okay, so maybe I'm going to study and I'm ready to move on to the location. To move to the location, I can press tab and that'll quickly move me to the location. And this one will be in the library meeting room. Great. Now here's where we can choose our start time and end time. Typically they'll be on the same date, so if I change the date of the start time by clicking on the calendar uh, icon and then I click a week from today, there we go. Notice that the end date was also updated. Next I'm going to show you how to update the time. If you want a custom time you can click right inside here and write your custom time. If not you can click on this drop down arrow and choose the time that you want. I'm going to choose 11.30. Again for a custom time if say I wanted 11.20 I could just click right there, delete the two and type or delete the three and type a two. But I'm going to leave it as 11.30. Notice that the end time automatically calculates 30 minutes from the start time. I'm going to change that to one hour. Okay. When you choose the end time, it'll show you the time as well as how long that that appointment is for. So I'll choose the end time right there, and there we go. These are the things that you're going to want for uh, each appointment that you make. Now we go to save and close, and let's see what happened. You're not going to notice any changes from your module page or your um, your email module page, but if you go down here and you choose the calendar icon, you can click on icon for the calendar and it's going to bring up your calendar. It'll show all of your calendars on the left side and you can check which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to uh, hide. And we can see that on our current calendar it shows us SBS uh, study session happening a week from today at 11.30 a.m. So I'll actually be reminded one hour before and so it's a good way to keep track of all of your appointments uh, using the calendar app within Outlook. And so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create an all-day event. So to create an all-day event in Outlook and to basically block off your whole calendar for this day, you would go to the Home tab, New Group, and I'm going to show you from the calendar module since you'll often be looking at your calendar while you create new appointments. And you'll go right here to New Appointment. It'll open up the new appointment, and now I'm going to show you how to uh, set up a reoccurring event. So this one here is going to be for National Dessert Day. Okay, uh, Location can be left blank on this, and for the date, I'm going to choose October 14th. So I can move to the next month by using the forward and back right here, and I can type in or click on October 14th. Okay. Keep in mind you could also type dates within this area. Next up, if it's National Dessert Day, it's an all-day event, so I'm going to click All Day. <clears throat> and then finally, I'm going to show you how to create a reoccurrence within Outlook. So to create a reoccurrence, we're going to go right up here to the Event tab, and we'll go to Options Group, and we'll click Recurrence. When you click that, it's going to ask you how often you want this to um, occur. And so I use this a lot for my teaching schedule, for instance. I'll type an event in or an appointment in and then choose the date and time. And then I'll say what days of the week it repeats on. And uh, I'll set it up that way. But for something like this, which is a, a national dessert day, it only comes around once a year. So for the recurrence pattern, I'm going to choose yearly. It'll say every year. And then I could choose the end date. Okay, I'll, I will choose an end date on something like my classes, so I'll just choose when, what day they end. But on something like this, I'm going to choose no end date. I click OK. There we go, and it says uh, occurs every October 14th, effective this year. I'll go to save and close. And then I can see if I scroll down to October, there's National Dessert Day right there. As I move forward throughout the years, every year 
on October 14th. You'll see right here, National Dessert Day. Okay, and so that's how it works for events and a day long event like this one, it'll tell me 0.5 days in advance. So again, that is how we schedule appointments and events within Microsoft Outlook 2016. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.